Xena, one of my guard dogs, has worms. Not only did they find actual worms in her poop, they found little tiny egg follicles. The baby tortoises are gonna be on the website right now. We've got exactly what we need right here to deworm Xena. Right here, we're just gonna take some chunks of it. We're gonna just sprinkle it all over the meat. Now we're just gonna mix it real good. This bowl here, Bruno, that's your bowl right there. There you go, and Xena's dewormer medicine's right here. She should eat it, oh yeah. Let's what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Today, things at the ranch, at the farm, at the zoo, whatever you want to call it, are going absolutely well, except for the fact that we just found out that Xena, one of my guard dogs, has worms. We just got back from the vet and they actually took a sample of her poop and they told us that when they looked at her poop under the microscope, they were able to tell that she had both hookworms and whipworms. This is not good at all, but luckily they have a very special medicine, a special deworming medicine that can help get rid of these worms. It will kill the worms and get them out of her system. But guys, make sure you go right now and comment down below a little prayer for Xena to make sure that her worms go away. Not only did they find actual worms in her poop, they found little tiny egg follicles, the eggs of the worms. So that means the worms are in her and they are reproducing. Now these worms can be really bad because worms are not good for the dogs because they can cause problems like diarrhea as well as a number of other issues in their stomachs. It could give them an upset stomach. Worms are just not good to have in any animal. Now there's certain bacteria that are natural inside of the dog's actual gut flora, but whipworms and herkworms are certainly not one of them. I'm actually walking towards the back side of the property now and I see them right here they're just hanging out in the bushes right now I'm gonna show you both Bruno and Xena now Bruno's actually already been to the vet he's already been dewormed and he's all up to date on his shots we took Bruno to the vet before Xena because well we got Bruno before Xena so they've now both been to the vet you guys have been asking for him here they are hi Bruno how you doing they want nothing to uh, do with me. Bruno's just chasing his girlfriend around. I don't know what they're doing, guys. Guys, go comment down below what you think these dogs are doing here in these bushes right now. I'm not quite sure what they're doing, but they're just hanging out. Bruno's a big, gorgeous African borble. If you guys are new to the channel, these are the guard dogs that actually guard this zoo. They guard the animals. They guard the property. These two dogs right here are just great dogs overall. I mean, they're just really awesome dogs. They do their job well. But what we're going to do now before we actually hop into today video on how we're going to treat the worms. We have a very, very special medicine that we're going to be using to actually deworm Xena. But before we actually deworm Xena and feed the dogs, and I explain to you more about what we're doing to get rid of these worms, well, we have got to go to the reptile room. We've got some baby tortoises soaking, and I have some important announcements. Announcements that you guys have been waiting for on the baby tortoises. Guys, I'm going to give you a little hint now. The baby tortoises, they might be up on the website. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go head to the reptile room and I will give all of you the scoop on the tortoises. Check it out guys. We have all of our baby redfoots and cicadas soaking here. So these guys, given you know we don't have any technical difficulties, will be live on the website right now, right down below jacobfetter.com. We're gonna have both regular and bright orange redfoots as well as cicadas. So I'm sure all of you are wondering what's the difference between a bright orange and a regular redfoot? Well I'll tell you right now. This right here is gonna count as well a bright orange orange red foot. You could see just how orange his shell is, just how orange his head is. This will be a bright orange as well as this one right here. You can see just how blonde the shell is. You can see he's got a deep orange head right here. Those two right there are going to be bright orange and darker ones like this and this one right here are actually going to be the regular red foot. So they're the same species of tortoise, same exact species except some of them are just a lot prettier and a lot more bright orange. So this one is a bright orange right here. This one is a bright orange orange, but these guys here, the ones with the darker shells, they're still absolutely beautiful. These are the regular ones right here. And then we're going to have baby sulcata tortoises. Baby sulcatas are absolutely adorable, but please do your research as these are the third largest tortoise in the world. They start out nice and tiny right here, but one day can be up to about 200 pounds right here. So guys, we're going to have a bunch on the website. All of the ones that you see right there are going to be on the website. Guys, you guys have an opportunity to own a part of the channel, a piece of the channel. You guys saw these eggs when they were laid. You got to see them when they hatch. And now you guys can literally own one of the tortoises that was born right here. And actually, you guys got to see hatch on the channel. It's, it's an amazing opportunity. And they make absolutely amazing pets. So guys, make sure you do all your research. Let's head back on over there. And I'll show you some of the other tortoises that I have. One minute, 37 seconds later. 
The baby tortoises are going to be on the website right now given that we don't have any technical difficulties. So guys, head to jacobfetter.com, link down below. You can check out some of the baby tortoises. What you see right here is all we have. So we have very limited quantities. So if you're looking for a new pet tortoise, guys, this is the best place. But again, you can see the difference between the bright orange red foots and the regulars. The regulars are going to have a little bit darker of a shell. The bright oranges are literally bright orange. So we have super bright orange ones like this and then we have more of a blonde red foot right here you can see that they're really red absolutely gorgeous but no matter which one you choose you can't go wrong the baby tortoises had an amazing soak they're nice and hydrated and they're back in their tank I am so happy that I'm finally able to bring all of you baby tortoises I've had a ton of people asking me when they're gonna be on the site well guys they should be on there right now go right down there jacobfetter.com get yourself a new baby tortoise and without further ado guys let's hop into today's dog deworming and now that all of you heard all about the tortoises that are live and ready for new homes on the website. Well, it's time to hop into today's dog deworming. We've got Bruno and Zeno right over here. They're waiting for their food and look at what we've got here. We've got our food here. We've got a nice, good, high quality kibble right here, which has all the necessary nutrition for these dogs so we can grow strong, healthy guard dogs. We have some USDA top sirloins. This is good quality stuff. I could literally cook this in my kitchen, but we're using this to deworm Zena. And we've got exactly what we need right here to deworm Zena. So this right here is called Panicure. I use Panicure for actually all of my animals to deworm them. I use them for my lizards, I use it for my tortoises, and we also use it for the dogs. Now for Xena right here, we have a powdered form of dewormer. We actually use a more of a gel kind of one at the house. We use a paste, which is a lot easier for the tortoises. So we're gonna take this white dewormer. This dewormer medicine is going to get rid of all of the worms. We're gonna take this dewormer and sprinkle it on this meat right here. So in order to prepare the meat for the dewormer, we're gonna actually come here and we're gonna start taking some meat out. Now, I don't have gloves on. Now, guys, remember, if you guys are gonna handle raw meat, if you're gonna do it without a glove, make sure you wash your hands afterwards. You don't wanna get any bacteria. So right here, we've got our top sirloin meat right here. We're just gonna take some chunks of it. Now, the reason we don't mix the dewormer right on top of the food is the dewormer is really chalky. It's like a white kind of chalky, almost like sand. If we put that dewormer on the kibble, she's not gonna eat it, but if we mix it with the red meat, well, she's surely gonna eat it. So we've got some meat right here. Now, even though we're not deworming Bruno, Bruno's still gonna get some meat. We've got a good amount of meat right here. I mean, look at this. This is super high quality meat. We only feed our animals the very best here. So we've got a bunch of good meat right here. I mean, I think that this is enough meat for this girl right here. Now, once we mix the dewormer on, which we're gonna do now, oh, come on, open, open up. Why isn't this opening? We got the dewormer open and now it's time to actually take this dewormer right here. We're gonna just sprinkle it all over the meat. And as you can see, it's not a small amount. It's actually a good amount of dewormer right here. Look at that, we've got all of this white dewormer, this white powder right here. And we're just gonna take this dewormer and we're gonna mix it all over the meat. And we actually may need a little more meat than what we already got here. But we've got some super high quality meat right here. I mean, it literally looks like we took this meat right here and we just put it in sand, but obviously we didn't. Obviously this is dewormer. We've got the meat nice and mixed up. Look at that. I mean, it's almost like just a big ball of meat right there. And now we're gonna take some handfuls of kibble. This is going to further mask that taste that texture of the dewormer. By adding meat and kibble to this, she's not even gonna notice that the dewormer is there, especially that we've got kibble on it now. Let's take a little more right here. Let's take a little bit, little bit. Perfect, that's absolutely perfect. We're just gonna mix it real good so it can totally mask it. And of course, I, I gotta make a mess. Zena's bowl is absolutely perfect and is ready to go. We're gonna slide Zena's bowl aside. We're gonna slide Bruno's forward. Now Bruno is gonna get a red meat as well. We're gonna get a nice treat. And red meat's really good for them because it is a good raw protein, which is really good for the dog. So I like to give it to the dog several times a week. I like to give them some raw red meat. It's really healthy for them. And all of the live amino acids that are actually in the meat the animal is going to absorb. There's no live amino acids in kibble because obviously it's dry, so it's actually really healthy to give your dog meat. If you guys have been on the fence, I've had great results with it. Some people don't do it, but I absolutely love it. Oh yeah, look at that. These two bowls are ready to go. They're good to go. We're just going to stack them right here. We're going to pick these bowls up and we've got our two dog kids waiting right here. Bruno, Zena, I've got your meals right here. Guys, give me a second. Come on, I need to put your bowls down. Oh my gosh, guys, they're chasing me for food. 
I'm gonna put Bruno's bowl here. Bruno, that's your bowl right there. There you go, and Xena's dewormer medicine's right here. She should eat it. Oh yeah, look at that. Without hesitation, these guys are just chowing down. They absolutely love getting this red meat. And I'm so glad I'm able to provide these doggos with some good red meat. Xena, look at that. Xena's just enjoying her meat. Now these dogs are kind of slow eaters. I haven't ever really seen them eat really fast, but when you add meat to it, I mean, look at him. He's almost completely scarfed it down already. Bruno, you're a good boy. Now, I don't really touch the dogs when they're eating just because we don't want to bother them. We want to give them their space. And Xena has almost completed her meat, too. Look at that. There's really no meat left for either of them. They just took it down real fast. Xena, what are you doing? You have your bowl. Why are you taking his? This is their afternoon feeding, and you know, I really like to give them their food in the morning and at night. The reason why I don't feed the dogs midday is because when it's really hot out, the dogs are not gonna wanna eat, so when you feed your dogs, it's best to actually feed the dogs if they're gonna be outside during the day. For even at least part of the day, make sure you feed them early in the morning or late in the afternoon when it's not too hot. Bruno said, forget the bowl, I'm going straight for the spigot. This guy's acting like he's never had water before, but he literally was just drinking a little bit ago. We've got Xena here. Xena says, I want some water. That meat made me real thirsty. Now, one thing with these larger breeds of dogs is they actually drink a lot more water than a smaller dog would. I mean, these guys drink, I mean, from what I see, about a gallon each a day, if not a little more. But these two right here are getting nice and hydrated. We've got good, clean well water, so we don't have to worry about any harsh chemicals. You guys are doing good. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video, today's dog deworming. I'm so, so glad that we are able to get Xena on her deworming medicine. Now, Xena has two more doses of dewormer that we're going to be giving her tomorrow and the following day. And then Xena will be worm free. She'll be, she'll be home free and a healthy dog. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to go comment down below what you think of these worms, guys. And make sure to go comment down below a prayer for her that the worms are going to get out of her system very fast. And guys, don't forget, baby tortoises are live on the website. We have redfoots, we have bright orange redfoots, and we have sulcata babies, as well as rhino iguanas, lewisite, and cubans soon to be on the site. So if you guys want to check that out, well, guys, go right down below, jacobfetter.com. You can find all the live animals for sale, as well as some merch. Get a shirt, get a hat, get something to rock to let everyone know you're a part of Jacob's world. Guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.